Hey out there survivors, how are you all doing? This is just a quick update video to talk about a charity stream that we're doing next Friday the 31st of July 2020. It's going to run for 24 hours. It's called The Games I Don't Want to Forget and the whole purpose of this charity stream is to raise money and funds for Yarn Social Day Club uh, which is part of Carebright, a monster based charity service that helps the elderly and in particular people with dementia and Alzheimer's. The stream will be running from 10pm GMT on the 31st of July 2020 all the way through to 10pm GMT on the 1st of August 2020. Now this is something that's very close to me personally because my own grandmother suffered with uh, dementia and uh, we lived with her for probably the last eight or 10 years of her life. And uh, we got to see, unfortunately, firsthand all the things that she went through. Um, it was a very, it was a sad experience to watch somebody you love deteriorate like that. And uh, we would have been absolutely blessed to have the supports of someone like uh, Carebright during those very difficult times. As such, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to raise 1,000 euros for uh, Carebright and Yarn Social Day Club. I'm working in conjunction with the manager of Yarn Social Day Club, uh, Valerie Clancy, and together we're trying to coordinate this. The reason that the stream is called The Games I Don't Want to Forget is I thought about the experiences that I would absolutely hate to lose. You know, if my mind were to go and I lost m parts of my memory, what would I what would I hate to lose? Obviously, in reality, the really tragic things that people lose are, you know, they forget life experiences and forget family members, which is uh, just awful. But uh, I also think about the video game experiences that I've had in my life and how I would want to remember them always. And in particular, there's three games that stand out for that, and that is Metal Gear Solid from 1998, uh, Resident Evil 3 from 1999 and Silent Hill 3 from 2003. These are three games that I'm very deeply passionate about and that I chose specifically considering that I'm going to be playing for 24 hours. I wanted A to pick stuff that mattered to me and B stuff that would keep me uh, engaged for that time. However, I will also intermittently be playing uh, a bunch of games that were designed to kind of showcase what it's like for people living with Alzheimer's or dementia. These are indie games, they're narrative short form games that showcase what it's like being inside the mind of somebody with uh, Alzheimer's or dementia. I'm deeply passionate about this stream, I, it's super important to me, I really want to do some good. Um, we're not going to release a donations link until the day of the stream, but if you subscribe here on YouTube or follow over on Twitch or Twitter or like on the Facebook, you can be kept up to date uh, as and when the links start to go out and things like that. The reason behind that is we want to keep all of the donations that come in specifically for this stream in one place and there will be a kind of progress bar that will run along the top of the stream as we play and as people pitch in and help out and support, uh, we will get closer and closer to our goal. And I really urge you, I know that it's a tough time with the pandemic. I mean, as I say, charity organizations like Carebright and Yarn Social Day Club are struggling in light of everything. I really implore you, in spite of everything, to dig deep if you can during the stream and give whatever you can uh, to help support this charity. If you can't donate on the day, we just ask that you share the stream out and get people involved who might be able to help out and donate because we really, really want this to be a success uh, and raise as much as we can for this fantastic charity. So, yeah, uh, as I say, more details to come, but follow us on all the socials and you'll be kept up to date. This stream is probably the most important thing I've done since I started uh, with the YouTube channel and streaming on Twitch and stuff. So I really, really hope that everybody can find it in their hearts to come along. And even, look, if you can't support, just popping in and keeping me company during the 24 hours would be also awesome. I understand that people won't be able to stay for the full 24 hours because people have obligations and commitments. But if you can just pop your head in, say hello, and you know, keep me company for a little bit, that would be massively welcomed. And if you can donate, even better. I will also say that any donations raised via bits or stars on Facebook or Twitch will also go to Carebright and Yarn Social Day Club. That's it. I really hope to see you all on the stream uh, Friday 31st of July at 10 p.m. GMT. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Kicking off with Metal Gear Solid, uh, an absolute classic. And yeah, I can't wait. I, I really, really hope we can do some good with this stream and uh, yeah, use the power of video games and streaming to do something great for a charity that really deserves it. Um, I've seen a lot of people do some great charity streams on a kind of global scale, but I really wanted to bring this home and do something for a charity just down the road who is actively helping and supporting people in my own community. See you on Friday 31st of July at 10pm GMT, and as always you guys, let's survive together, and peace out.